All right, what's up guys? Nick with Velox Training Group. Today I want to talk to you guys about hit factor scoring. Uh, we got two clean targets down there at 25 yards. I'm just going to shoot a simple build drill on each of those to give you guys an example of how we're going to score this, right? So the first one that I'm going to shoot is going to be significantly slower um, than the second one, right? And then we'll go down and score them with hit factor and see which one scores the best. Okay. Okay, 914. <clears throat> All right, 310. Okay, let's go down here and look at the hits, score them, and then chat about hit factor some more. <clears throat> okay, so. See the hits there, six tight alphas. And you can see the hits over here. We've got four alphas, two Charlies, right? Now, before we score this, let's talk about what hit factor actually is. So there's scoring zones on these targets. This rectangle here is the A zone. This is gonna be worth five points. The Charlie around that is gonna be worth three. The Delta around the Charlie is gonna be worth one point and a mic is uh, significantly worse, it's down 10 points. We don't, wanna, we don't wanna mic or miss, right? So the easiest way to score this is you add up the possible points from the very, very beginning, right? So if we shot a build drill and each uh, alpha is worth five, for you math geniuses, that would be 30 possible points, okay? What we're gonna do with hit factor is gonna be points divided by time, okay? So on the first one, I got 30 points, all alphas. But the time, cameraman, what was the time? 914. 914, this is a 914. Way slower than the second time. Now, if we come to this one, I dropped two Charlies. Okay, so the easiest way to score this would be down two, four. So down four points, okay? Which would be, totally forgot my uh, phone, good thing the cameraman comes prepared. <laughs> Soon. That would be <laughs> uh, a total of 26 points here. Okay, divided by my time, which would be 310, for a total of 8.3. Okay, so we shot 26 points in 310. which was 8-3. Now, the first one, we shot all the points. But if we take those points and divide them by the time, which was a 9-14, we're at a 3.2. Significantly lower hit factor than the second one. Now, thank you, sir. Now, a lot of people might go, well, that first one was better because you got all of your hits. I would come back with, but I did get all my hits, but it was significantly more time, okay? Now, the challenging thing about this is can you get good enough hits in a way faster time, right? Now, why would you even care about this? I think that um, this type of shooting becomes very, very easy, right? And the problem is if you only do this, it's very hard to step on the gas when you need to. If you only slow fire, it's almost like, um, you know, it's like I, I say in classes, can a, can a Lamborghini do what a Honda Civic does? Absolutely. It can go 45. Can a Honda Civic, bare bones Honda Civic for you car nerds, can a Honda Civic do what a Lamborghini does? The answer is no, it can't because it doesn't have the horsepower. So if you don't have the horsepower and this is all you do, and then one day you do have to step on the gas, what is going to happen? Things are gonna be way worse in terms of accuracy. Now, 
if you practice hit factor scoring, right, and you score all of your drills through hit factor, where points and time matter, right, points divided by time, I think you'd be a lot better off, okay? I think the guy that can have the amount of horsepower to do this can easily, like you just saw, right, this is a solid example, can easily slow down, let off the gas, and put all the bullets where you want them to go. So I think hit factor is a way to score actual performance and not just, hey, did I get my hits or hey, was it fast, okay? Now, yes, there are times when we wanna do things like bullseye shoot, make sure we can pull the trigger and make, you know, correctly and make the bullets go exactly where you want them to go. But if you're measuring your actual performance, that would be hits divided by time, okay? That's where hit factor scoring is going to come in very, very handy for you guys, and it's, it is an actual measurement of your performance rather than just hits or just time, right? Again, um, you know, there will be times when you need to do that, and there will be times when you need to speed up and check and see what that speed actually feels like so you become comfortable with it, but on your, if you're measuring your actual level of execution at the time, your actual level of performance, score it with hit factor scoring. I think you guys would be a lot better off. Again, that was hit factor scoring. That's what I got on that Nick with Velox Training Group. If you, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below or shoot me an email at info at